Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. After we have trusted Jesus Christ for salvation, we are told in 2 Timothy 2.15 to study to be able to defend our faith and to be well grounded in God's Word. However, when reading the Bible, we often find words that are not commonly used. One such word is found in Romans 3.25 and also in 1 John 2.2. 2. First of all, in Romans 3, 23, and 24, we're told that all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And what this means is that every man has missed the mark of God's perfection. When we consider the Ten Commandments, we realize we're sinners, and we cannot be good enough to reach God's standard. But when we read Romans 3, 24, we see that as believers, we are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Jesus Christ. Grace speaks of the great love that God has for mankind. The redemption of Jesus Christ means that he has bought us back from damnation by the sacrifice of himself. In the next verse, Romans 3.25, we read that God has sent Jesus Christ to be a propitiation through faith in his blood. The meaning of propitiation is that because of our faith in Jesus Christ and his blood payment on Calvary, God now looks upon us favorably. And now that we have trusted in Christ, we can have access to God, which means we can communicate with him and seek his guidance in our lives. So we see that propitiation simply means that Jesus Christ has done a work on our behalf, and through our faith in God, God now looks on us with favor. In the book of 1 John chapter 1, verses 8 and 10, we see that even though we have trusted Jesus Christ as our Savior, We are still sinners. We have a new sinless nature, and we are dwelt by the Holy Spirit. But we still have our old sinful nature as well. When we leave this earth, we will leave this old sinful nature and body behind and go to be with God with only our sinless nature and our new glorified body. In 1 John 1, 9, it's written, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sin and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. This means we are to acknowledge our sin before God so that we can fellowship with Him. Salvation is not in question here. We're saved once and for all. Hebrews 10.14 says that by one offering Jesus Christ has perfected forever them that are sanctified. In our new nature, we are perfect. To be sanctified is to be made holy and set apart, set apart into God's family. In 1 John 2.2, 2, we find the word propitiation again. And here, as in Romans, the word contains the meaning of satisfaction. Because of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, God is satisfied with that. The sins of mankind have been paid for. And because of our faith in Jesus Christ, he is satisfied with us. No amount of reformation we would do can satisfy God. Only the blood payment of Jesus Christ. In John 2, 2, it says that Jesus is a propitiation for not only ours, but for the entire world. This tells us that anyone who trusts in Jesus Christ alone is saved and God looks upon him with favor. As an earthly father looks upon his children with love, so does God, our heavenly father. But God has a much stronger love than any man has. The meaning of appreciation speaks also of the believer's assurance. It is all of Christ Jesus, not of ourselves. This has been Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church of Cohasset. I'd like to invite all of you to our Sunday services at 9 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. For more information, please call 999-9012. Until next week, may the grace and love of God become more and more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now and thank you for listening.